Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thought I'd try something a little bit different today. So uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I started a YouTube channel and I've been posting some videos there. However, I thought I'd uh, switch things up here and try a little Facebook Live, see what everybody thinks about that. So uh, kind of the topics I've been sticking to are just things in general, which uh, I feel like pertain to our overall health. So one thing that I wanted to talk to today is just uh, an idea that kind of uh, set off a light bulb for me the other day. So I recently finished watching the ESPN series, The Last Dance. If you're not familiar with it, it uh, somewhat documents the Chicago, Bill, Chicago, Bills, Chicago Bulls dynasty in the uh, 1990s. And with that, uh, really heavily emphasizes Michael Jordan and uh, arguably one of the greatest professional athletes of all time and his work ethic and just uh, some of the things that he did to be so successful. So one of the last episodes, um, one of the people they were interviewing in the documentary regarding Michael Jordan um, spoke to the mindfulness and presence that Michael Jordan exhibited. So the clip that they went to specifically, Michael Jordan before the game was very loose, not stressed out at all, walking down the hallways of the arena uh, before getting out of the court and just swarmed with reporters because when you are at that level, I imagine you must constantly be on the stage and have people just constantly demanding uh, things of you. So some reporter hit him with the question, I believe it was regarding if he was gonna retire, uh, what was gonna happen next week, uh, were the Bills gonna, Bulls gonna win the championship, uh, what was gonna happen? And Michael Jordan just kind of smiled and carried on, said something to the extent, well, you know, I'm, I'm here to play the game today, I'm here to concentrate on this, so we'll deal with that later. Um, and with it, it really spoke to the presence and the mindset of the situation that, that he just kind of uh, always had. And it uh, feel allowed him to step up in very key situations. Um, one of the things he was known for in his career, if you don't know, is he was very clutch. So at very stressful, very key times in games, playoff series, NBA championships, he would be the one that would sink that shot to propel the Bulls to victory. Um, and I mean, I, I don't even know the number of times that uh, he did this. And I think one of the keys was he was able, he was able to employ this present mindset. And, you know, I've, taken a lot of yoga classes, meditation, done a lot of advanced trainings. And I know this, this phrase of mindfulness and presence and being present, things like this are often very much thrown around. And I don't think many people, I know myself included, really grasp what that is about. And uh, for me, it just kind of set off a light bulb when I saw Michael Jordan not getting caught up in these questions that were kind of all over the place with the reporters, somewhat designed to trip him up or, um, you know, make him think and ponder some possibly ridiculous question. Um, but no, he just simply stayed focused on his mission and what he needed to do and how he was gonna get there. And uh, I think a lot of us can employ those same tactics in our everyday life. Um, whereas uh, right now, many of us find ourselves in a very potentially stressful situation with uh, the unknowns regarding the pandemic, job issues, the economy, all sorts of different things. And it's very easy to steamroll and get uh, you know, mentally out of control where you start to dwell on different things, many unknowns, many things you have no control over potentially. And uh, that just sets the tone for more bad things to potentially happen in your life with your mind just kind of wandering over the place. So 
the reason I want to touch on something like this is it is another aspect of our health. And in TCM, we look at how the emotions play into just our health, uh, physical pain, digestive pain, um, your happiness, the way that that then translates into other aspects of your life. So something I want to leave everybody with today is that, uh, that presence and just being present and not, not letting everything out there let the mind spiral out of control because uh, it really does have a powerful impact on our lives and uh, everything we do. And, you know, I know we're on social media right now, but there's a lot of stuff on there that can get you caught up in this and distract you from the important things and your goals and where you need to get to. So I just wanted to shoot this little quick video. Um, for me, sports has always kind of done that. And the last dance documentary, like I said, uh, was very inspirational for me. And just seeing somebody as successful as Michael Jordan and what he did to get to that high level of success and the sacrifices he made. And one of those big things was just being present in the moment. And uh, I just wanted to share that. Hopefully uh, help some of you out there. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in.